a 22 year old student presents to the college clinic with a one week history of fever sore throat nausea and fatigue he could hardly get out of bed this morning there are no pets at home he admits to have to having recent unprotected sex the vital signs include temperature 38.3 pulse 72 blood pressure 118 by 63 and respiratory rate is 15 on physical examination he has bilateral posterior cervical lymphadenopathy exudates on the palatine on the palatine tonsil with soft palate fatigue and an erythematous macular rash on the trunk and arms and mild hepatosplenomegaly which of the following is the most likely diagnosis rubella acute hiv toxoplasma infectious mononucleosis and streptococcal pharyngitis so infectious mononucleosis now why infectious mononucleosis caused by epstein barr virus very good so we are talking about a 22 year old college student all right so it is usually found in college students so it present usually presents with a history of fever sore throat nausea and fatigue but this fever sore throat nausea and fatigue is very vague it can be found in hiv also it can be found in strep pharyngitis also all right so we are not getting any answer over here so we move to the next lines so the next line is admits to having recent unprotected sex so basically the question writer is directing you to a part where you can have sexual interaction and all so they are basically taking you towards mononucleosis all right and it can still hiv is not being ruled out over here all right so we read further okay there is a history of fever rest all vitals are normal there is bilateral posterior cervical lymphadenopathy and exudates over the palatine tonsil and a rash on the trunk and palm and mild hepatosplenomegaly whatever is written over here it is very characteristic of your infectious mononucleosis caused by epstein barr virus all right so how i ruled out streptococcal pharyngitis so streptococcal pharyngitis will have sore throat nausea fever fatigue all this stuff all right it will have lymphadenopathy also it will have exudates over the tonsil also but what is not there in streptococcal pharyngitis is your hepatosplenomegaly all right so streptopharyngeal uh, Septicocal, yes, all right, very good, Arjun. So that is what I said. There will be no hepatosplenomegaly. All right. So toxoplasma is completely ruled out because toxoplasma will usually have this history of pets like cat uh, through cleaning cat feces and all that stuff, or eating uh, uncooked meat and all that stuff. All right. So now ruling out acute HIV infection might be a bit tricky. All right. But one thing which I didn't know about it, and I read during my CK preparation is HIV will be presenting with non-tender lymphadenopathy, and there'll be nothing of this sort, like tender exudates over the palatine tonsils. All right, it can have rash, it can have hepatosplenomegaly, and all that stuff. But the lymphadenopathy in acute HIV infection is non-tender. All right, and there are no exudates over palatine tonsils, so we have clearly ruled out HIV also. Okay. and now coming to rubella rubella is very uh, easy to rule out you will be talked about or just a rash all right and fever okay thanks for watching please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more